What is up, my fellow net dwellers? Couch Command here, the teddy bear who teaches you how to mod different games. Today, we're taking a look at Generation Zero obtained via Game Pass. Let's go ahead and jump right into it. And just like always, we're starting off with installing the game here. So install, pick whatever location you want. I'm going V, just because it is my NVMe. And then we're going to go ahead and wait for this. So Generation Zero is a little different as far as the modding aspect goes because this does not have any type of built-in modding. Modding was not an intended functionality, more or less. Instead, to mod the game, we're essentially actually pointing it to utilize folders that aren't standard in the game. And to do that, we need to modify the executable to actually provide those additional routes. Whenever we're using the Steam version, it's really easy. We just put those as additional parameters for launching the game. Well we don't have the same luxury on this. And because of how Generation Zero locks down, well, sorry, because of how Microsoft locks down their actual executables, makes it a little trickier getting this to run. Anyways, let's go ahead and enjoy the time jump and I'll be back with you in a few seconds. Now that this is installed, we're gonna go ahead and go to manage and then files and browse to get to the folder location of the game. Generation zero content. We're going to leave this open, but our first course of action is we're going to right click on generation zero FEXE. We're gonna go down to send to, and we're going to send a shortcut to our desktop. Now, if we look at my desktop, I now have the generation zero shortcut right here. This is super critical for how this is gonna work. So make sure you get that shortcut created. And I just realized I closed out of a folder because talent. So browse, generation zero content. All right, back to where we were. For mods on this game, we're going to be using the generation zero helper mods. This is a group of a bunch of different mods from various modders, authors, so on and so forth. Specific ones I'm going to be using are going to be one like uh, Boombox, Loot Q5, Q6, uh, radio spawn stuff, give you unlimited skill points. Basically just cheesing the crap out of the game. So what we're gonna do is go into my downloads here. We're going to extract these three mods. So 7-zip extract files. 7-zip extract files. If you do not have 7-zip, I link to it in my description on all, all of my modding tutorials. You can also just go out Google, find it for yourself, but it is very, very useful. Your other choices are WinZip, WinRAR. There's several different ones out there, but 7-Zip is free. There's not a lot of download spamware to it. You're not gonna get annoyed by them continually trying to sell you the upsell on it. Now, what we're gonna do is come into each of these folders and we're gonna grab this drop zone folder here. We're gonna copy it come back to our content folder for the game and just paste in this base content folder. And we're gonna do that for each of these. Now that all the mods are copied over, if we launch the game right now, none of these mods would work. That's because we have to modify the executable in such a way it'll actually load the mods for us. Now to do that, we can actually come out to any of these tutorials for how to mod the Steam version of the game, and we're gonna utilize the exact same scripting that they use. So I was utilizing the Generation Zero helper mod. On it, they have a how to install piece here. We are going to need this piece right here. This is our critical piece that we're going to be after, the uh, minus minus VFS dash VS drop zone archive, so on and so forth. We're going to copy this path exactly. And then we're going to the code to the shortcut we created earlier. And we're gonna go and click properties on it. We're going to go to the very end after the exe, hit space and paste in that route we just copied and apply. Now, once you've done this, the only way mods will work for this game is if you launch from the shortcut on your desktop. If you launch from play, mods won't function. So make sure you are using that shortcut to launch the game. Now with any luck, it's actually going to have remembered my saves previously and I'll be able to just continue. Otherwise I'd have to create a new world and go through stocking up on everything. So, 
obviously I'm already on my previous broken save, but if I come into my inventory and go into my skills, I have infinite skill points still due to the mods. So that's still in effect. Come into schematics, I still have all of my purchase stuff. I don't have additional points from that, but that's okay. The big test of if this worked or not is I need a boombox and a radio. So let's go over to our inventory and grab both a boombox and a radio. So we're gonna just grab one boombox and one radio. And if the mods functioned, when I throw these on the ground, I should be able to actually open them as weapon packs and get ammo, guns, fun stuff. So let's go ahead and assign to the slot, equip that, and assign to the slot, and equip that. Now if we go seven here is the boom box, which turns into a weapon crate. We can get all the cool guns, all the cool mods, whatever. Now if we go to eight, which should be the radio, it doesn't spawn as a crate, but if we go up to it, we can actually use E to search, and we now have all of the ammo available in the game. We also have components, med packs, you name it, all the fun stuff's there. This basically is enough to get you to max level in the game. You'll have all the best, you'll have all the best guns unlocked, you'll have all the best stuff unlocked. Now let me go ahead and exit to my desktop real quick and just show you if I click play on now if I click play on generation zero itself instead of utilizing that shortcut game launch still like normal right everything seems fine we're able to connect in still no issues here we're able to continue just like before and I don't lose any of my existing stuff that I modded however if I come out here, utilize the same stuff, or if I just check my skills, no longer have infinite skill points. So mod obviously not working there. And let's go ahead and go F8 for radio. Well, I sure can't walk up and click that. Let's go ahead and do seven for boom box. That looks like a normal boom box and I can't do anything there either. That's what I meant whenever I said you have to make sure you're actually running from the shortcut. If you are not, none of the mods will work. Anyways, this was Couch Command. You guys will have a good night, a great tomorrow, and amazing rest of the week. I'll see you next time.